Hello, all my fit friends. Welcome back to Wow Body Now. Today, we're gonna do some interval and circuit training to get a really great cardio workout. Let's get going. Cheers, everyone. Let's sip and get into this. So, and we're gonna start with a rear hopscotch. So you're gonna take opposite heel to opposite hand behind you. There you go. We're gonna do some general movements to just heat up the body, get the joints nice and warm, right? To signal to our central nervous system, hey, we're getting ready to work out. We're gonna get ready mentally and physically. After this, we're gonna do bent knee hip circles. So I want you to find somewhere to balance, hold onto the back of your couch or your wall, bend your knee and then give me big circles from that hip joint. Nice. We'll do 30 seconds on one leg and then 30 seconds on the other leg. And we're gonna switch directions right here. Same leg, just switch directions of the circle. So we're gonna be on our feet um, doing some running motion, some jumping or hopping or leaping. We want the hips nice and warm. Okay, same thing, other side. Bend the knee, big hip circles. As you're doing this, Stand up nice and tall, pull your belly button in. Shoulders are back and relaxed. Think nice long neck. Oh. And same leg, switch directions of those hip circles. Okay. Nice work, nice work. Start at one end of your mat. Give me two big side steps and elbow to knee. Two big side steps, elbow to knee. There you go. Give me a little crunch as you bring the elbow to the knee. Crunch your abs, draw your chest in towards your knee. There you go. Nice. I hope you're starting to feel more awake, more ready to go. So give me a nice low lunge, push the hips down, and then push your hips back and alternate. Low lunge, and hips back. Low lunge, oh, that feels good. Hips back, low lunge, hips back. 30 seconds on this side, then of course we'll do the other side. Ooh, this feels really good in my hamstrings here. And we're getting our hip flexors um, and quads of the back leg right here as you push the hips down, it's opening up that leg and then you're really feeling the hamstrings there. <sighs> hamstrings and the calves as you try to get that back heel down to the floor and a little dynamic stretch for the calves too. Again, still pulling that belly button in, right? If you can't get your hands all the way to the ground, that's okay. Put your hands up on your coffee table or something. What's next, what's next? Down dog to up dog. So hands hip width apart. Push through the heels of your hands, push your hips back. Excuse me, drive the hips down, open up the chest. There's our up dog. Down dog, up dog, nice. Alternating between the two, getting the shoulder joint warmed up a little bit more here. Nice, okay. We are gonna do sidestep prisoner squats. So hands behind your head and alternate side steps. So chest is up, sit the hips low, right? Without caving your chest forward or rounding through your shoulders. Keep your shoulders pinned back, your chest open. We're gonna do an in and out jog next. So start with a nice jog and then take your feet out and in. Awesome. We're doing about a five minute warm up before we get into our first interval, three minute interval challenge. We're gonna go between moderate intensity cardio and high intensity cardio. Okay, give me a little lateral shuffle. At the end, pop up onto your toes. Give me a little bounce to pop up onto the balls of your feet. 
shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Pop up into the balls of your feet. You're staying on the balls of your feet. You're staying really light on your feet as you do this lateral shuffle. If you have a fitness tracker, make sure you've turned it on. Nice. Okay, so we have 20 seconds, sip your water. So like I said, we're starting with a three minute interval challenge. We're gonna do butt kickers right here is our moderate intensity, right? And then we're gonna have intervals of fast feet kicking your butt. So let's start right here. They're just short intervals between 10 and 15 seconds, sometimes 20 seconds. So have a nice pace here, just kicking your butt, but keeping it grounding, grounded. If you wanna bounce a little bit more, you can. And right here, fast feet, run, 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 run. Higher intensity here, higher intensity here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. A butt kick run, fast feet, up and back, up and back. Stand up tall, come on. And now just those butt kickers. This is your little breather. You got it, oh, already, ready? Butt kick run. It's about the speed of your feet, down and up, down and up. You got this, you got this. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Ready? Just those butt kickers. It's just three minutes of this, you can do it. Keep those arms swinging. Keep moving. Ready? Three, two, butt kickers. Come on, come on. Fast feet, fast feet, fast feet. Get them all the way to your rear end. Swing those arms. You got this. Come on. Moderate intensity here. Good job, good job, good job. Keep moving with purpose here. I don't want to get lazy, right? Keep getting that heel all the way to your end. Keep swinging your arms. Ready? Hamstring runners, let's go, let's go. Pick up the intensity there. Yes, pick up the speed. Keep kicking that rear end. Four, three, two, one. Butt kickers. We're almost done, guys. Don't give up. Keep moving with purpose. Yes. It's a cardio workout. So we're gonna get that heart rate up there. Ready, set, butt kickers, go, go. Not butt kickers, I'm calling these the hamstring runners, hamstring sprinters. You got it, you got it, you got it. Come on. Butt kickers, just for five seconds, then we're finishing strong with these hamstring sprinters. Go, 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 go. Good job, good job. After this, you get a minute to recover. So go hard, go fast. Five, four, three, two, one. Whoo! Move around, walk around in your space. Okay. Now we're gonna do 20 minutes of some cardio supersets. There's gonna be two different moves. We're gonna do each move for 45 seconds with 15 seconds rest. We're gonna do each move, each superset, each cardio superset, two times through. So it's gonna be A, B, A, B. At the end of the second one, you will get 30 seconds to recover before we move on to the next one. Got it? So we're gonna do fast feet in the center and then lateral rebounders. So the rebounder, you go here and then back. So fast feet, here pause, and back. Fast feet, here pause, and back. Okay, that's the first move. Get ready. Get set. Here we go. Fast feet. When I say to the right, you go to the right. When I say go to the left, you go to the left. Right. Nice. Right. Oh, did you think you were going to the left? Left. Good. Left. Right. 
Left. Good. Fast feet, fast feet. Left. Right. Left. <laughs> Come on. Right. Left. Left. Right, balance. Quick change of direction is working the agility. Whew. Okay. So, we're gonna jump and land on one foot with a balance hold, okay? Push off the ground with two feet, land on one foot, hold. Both feet, land on another foot, hold. Woo! Two feet to one foot. Ooh, I forgot there. Two feet to one foot, balance hold. Jump with two feet, land on one foot, balance hold. Nice. Nice, come on. Good. Oh, keep it up, keep it up, Phil. Focus. Hold it for a split second or two. Good. Okay. Back to those fast feet. Rebounders. So instead of holding at the end, let's go out in. Really quick with the rebounders. Okay? Fast feet. To the left. Boom, boom. To the right. Boom, boom. Left. Right. Ooh, I'm moving my mat. That's not good. Keep going. Left. Right. Come on. Left. Right. Left. Quick change of directions. Out and in. Right. Left. Right. Come on. Come on. Good job. Good job. Okay, I'm gonna get this out of the way. Because that moved on us. We don't want that. Okay. That's just an accident waiting to happen. Okay, ready? Jump off two feet, land on one. Now you can keep it in the center here, or if you want, you can do a turn. Bring it back to center. Turn, bring it back to center. Little quarter turn, pause, bring it back to center. Little quarter turn, pause, bring it back to center. Nice. Give me an explosive jump in the middle. As you turn, land softly on one foot. Training a controlled descent. Training landing softly. Good. Ah, come on. Nice. Okay, 30 seconds to rest. So, we're gonna do line, line jumps. Four, forward and back, four side to side. Okay, quick change of direction, forward, back, forward, back, and then side, 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 side. Got it? Feet hip width apart, knees are soft, abs are in, shoulders back. Pretend there's a line, a T made like this, and now jump forward and back. Side, four, three, two, one. Front and back, one, two, three, four. Side, one, two, three, four. Front, side, front, side, front, side. Front, side, come on, front and back, side to side, front and back, side to side, <sighs> okay, move number two, we're going to do a long jump from one foot, landing on two feet, and then a high jump, so start on one foot, Hop forward, land on two feet, jump. 
come on the other foot. Push off on one foot, land on two feet, jump. So we're changing direction from forward and then up. You guys keep going. My shoe came untied. That's not good. I don't want to trip. Okay, come on. Okay, 15 seconds of rest. Forward and back line jumps for four, side to side for four. So again, Pretend you have a line going across when you're doing the forward backward jumps. Your belly button's pretty much staying in the same place, right? So forward back, now side to side. Forward back, side to side. Forward and back, side to side. Yes, come on, forward and back. Light on your feet, side to side. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four. Okay. Okay, my fifth friends. Let's start on this side. So I remember which foot goes off. I'm always pushing off the back foot, the foot towards the back of the room as I jump, okay? So pick up the other foot. From one foot, land two feet, jump. Turn around, other side. Nice. How much space can you cover as you hop forward? How high can you go when you jump up? Nice, land softly every time. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Whew. Okay. 30 seconds. Walk around, sip your water, catch your breath. We're gonna do a cross country shuffle. And we're gonna move laterally four times. And then we're gonna hop and land into an athletic stance into a quarter squat and pause. Okay, then we're gonna hop back and lateral shuffle. The cross country, your legs are scissoring. Arms are scissoring with it. So one, two, three, four, land here, come back. One, two, three, four, land there, come back. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Come on, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yes, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Come on, one, two, three, four. You're doing great. Come on, one, two, three, four. Whoo! One, two, three, four. Land in it. One, two, three, four. Land in it. Okay. Second exercise. Okay. We're gonna do four of these, three, four, and then four high knee sprints. Okay? So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just like that. Oh my goodness, it's a challenge but you can do it. Pick up those knees. Come on. Almost there. I wanna stretch my calves a little bit. 
They're feeling a little bit tight. I'm gonna stretch them out here up against the wall, up against my weights here. That's better. Okay, cross country, four, three, two, one, right? Land, one, two, three, four, land in that athletic stance. One, two, three, four, pop in, pop back. One, two, three, four, pop in, pop back. One, two, three, four, pop out, pop back. You got it. Come on. You got it. Nice, okay. Four overhead knee drivers, hands go from overhead down as the knee drives up, and then four high knee runs. Okay, start here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Come on, hang in there. We can do it, come on. Almost there, you're almost there. Don't give up. Okay. 30 seconds. Our next one, we're gonna do bounce hops. So, tiny little bounce jumps. Four in the center. Hop to the side like we just did, but four right there in that quarter squat position. Four upright. Our calves are getting it. So start in the center. One, two, three, four. 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 Come on. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Come on. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh. Okay, next move. We're gonna do staying on the right side. Three knee drivers like this. On the fourth one, you're gonna hop and drive that knee up. Okay? So, one, two, three, hop. One, two, three, hop. One, two, three, hop. One, two, three, land softly, hop. One, two, three, Woo, I'm feeling the back leg. One, two, three, we're staying on this side. The second time through, we'll go to the other leg. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, come on, come on, three, two, one, come on, all the way to the last beep. Whew. That leg that you're standing on there and hopping off of, did you feel it? I felt it. Okay, four little bounces, hop, four bounces in that ready or athletic position. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Little tiny bounces. Keep your chest up. Ah, 
Come on. Come on. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we're switching legs with those knee drivers. Okay. Switch legs. Three knee drivers, one hopping knee driver. Shoulders back, abs in, sit into it. Three, two, one, hop. Three, two, one, hop. Three, two, one, drive that knee up and hop. Three, two, one, hop. Three, two, one, hop. Three, two, one, hop. Come on, three, two, one, you got it. Hop, three, two, one, Hop, three, two, one, go strong. Hop, three, two, one. Hop, three, two, one. Hop, oh my goodness, almost there. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness gracious, great balls of fire, y'all. Okay. I do believe this is our last cardio superset, y'all. We're making great time. So, we're gonna lateral shuffle and touch, that's it. When you touch towards the floor, keep your back straight. I don't want you to round your back. Drop your hips, so it's a squat in to touch the floor. If you can't touch the floor, it's fine. Just get as close as you can. So lateral shuffle, squat and touch. Lateral shuffle, squat and touch, there you go. Lateral shuffle, squat and touch. Nice. Just use the space that you have. Even if you only do like a couple shuffles, that's okay. Whew. Come on. Whew. Looking great. We're almost done with these cardio supersets. Let's go, let's go. Whew. Whew. You got this. Whew. Let's go, let's go. Okay, next. Okay, we're gonna do lateral leaps with a balance at the end. So a leap, you're jumping off the back foot, landing on the other one, balance, okay? So, leap, balance. Leap, balance, land low, balance. Leap, 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 good, leap, Leap and balance. Control the landing. Use your core muscles to help you stabilize and balance. Make it bigger once you're comfortable with it. You start small and then once you've got your balance and you've got it down, leap even bigger. Okay, we're gonna go through those one more time, y'all. You're doing fantastic. Don't give up on yourself. You got this. Lateral shuffle, lateral shuffle, squat and touch the floor. Drop the hips with the chest stays up as you squat to touch the floor. Nice. Light on your feet, yeah. Do you feel like an athlete? You certainly are moving like an athlete today. Hang in there. Come on, this is a very athletic type cardio workout. <sighs> With the agility work, the speed work. Yeah, let's go, 10 more seconds here. Okay, lateral leap with that pause. Those pauses, they're training your ability to decelerate in a safe way. So you're pushing off powerfully, you're moving quick through the air, and then you're slowing down to land. That's a very important skill to learn how to decelerate safely. This is strengthening your ankle and knee and hip joint too, as you learn to balance and control that landing. Yes. After this, 
We have a minute to recover, so don't give up. Let's go, let's go. Whew. Whew. Balance. Whew. You got this. Whew. Come on. Whew. Good work, good work. Whew. Whew. Come on. Almost there, almost there. All the way to the last beep. Nice work, we have a minute to recover. Recover, grab your water. Ooh, okay, I want you catching your breath, walking around in your space. We have one more three minute cardio interval challenge. So the two exercises we're gonna do are bouncing jacks, right? Where it's mostly just arms and you're kind of giving me little bounces with it. That's the moderate one. And then when we go to the higher intensity one, it's gonna be full on jacks really quick. Whew, we have about 25 more seconds. I need to stretch my calves, man. We've been on the balls of our feet a lot with the bouncing, the jumping, the shuffling. Calves are gonna be tight. <laughs> we'll make sure we stretch them really good at the end. Okay. Bouncing jack. So keep the arms really big and just give me little bounces from your, from your knees. Here we go. Really quick arms still, but don't worry about the legs. Woo! And when we hear that beep, we're gonna go to full on jacks really quick. Move it with purpose. Make it intense. Here we go. Ha! Ah, nice. You got it. Ooh, these are just 10, 15, or 20 second intervals. That's it. Hang in there. Hang in there. Just the arms, little bounces. Keep moving those arms with purpose. Keep them long. Get them all the way over your head. Nice. Ready? Full jacks. Go. You got this. Finishing off really strong today. Hang in there. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Just the arms. Little bounces with your legs. Just the arms. Whew. Are your shoulders feeling a little bit of a burn? That's all right. <laughs> your legs got it hard all throughout the workout. It's okay if the shoulders are feeling that a little bit. Come on. Whew. Come on. Here we go, full jacks, go. If your arms are really feeling it bad, you can bend your arms and just pick those elbows out to shoulder level like that. If your arms are burning so bad, okay? Do the best you can. Modify before you quit. Just the arms, little bounces. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Hang in there, hang in there. You can do it, go. You're almost done. Come on, it's just a matter of a little over a minute left. Hang in there, hang in there. Come on, come on. Just the arms, little bounces with the legs. Nice. You can finish strong. Stay positive. Come on, full jacks. We're almost there, guys. Don't give up. Move quickly, move with purpose. Keep that heart rate up. Little bounce is just five seconds, then we're finishing strong with the full jacks. Ready, set, go. This is the last thing. Then we get to walk around and catch our breath. Come on, go, strong, fast, all the way to the last beep. You can do this. Finish strong. Three, two, one. Oh. Okay, walk around. Let your heart rate slow down. Okay, we are going to go ahead and take one foot in front, the other foot behind, press the heel down, push forward. So stretch that calf, right? Stretch that calf down. Now, 
keep that heel down. Keep going, keep stretching, keep stretching. Now lean forward over this leg. We're feeling the hamstring now here. Oh, yes. That feels good, right? <laughs> and other side. Press that heel down, push your hips forward. Give me a little calf stretch there. Getting that heel all the way to the ground. Now straighten out the front leg, hinge forward over this to get the hamstring of this other leg. That feels good. We're gonna go to a low lunge next. Just step back into a nice low lunge, right? Okay, so if you want to, you can take the back knee down and I want you actively pushing your hips forward. It might feel good to kind of open up that front knee some. You can kind of zhuzh it how it feels good. Settle into really pushing your hips forward there. If you're feeling really flexible, you can go all the way to your forearms. It's up to you. Oh. Stretch into it, breathe into it, relax into it. Same thing other side. Start in your low lunge, right? Really push your hips down. If you're so inclined, you can bring the bottom knee down. And again, you can kind of move that knee around, open and close it, see what feels good. And if you're feeling super flexible, you can take it all the way to your forearms here. Nice. What's going to be next? Let me check it out. We're gonna do half kneeling inner thigh rockers. So I'm gonna get my mat ready here. Okay, I'm just gonna use this to cushion one knee. You're gonna be on one knee. Take the other leg out straight. Sit back on your hips. So we're feeling the inner thigh here stretch. Lengthen through your body, reach out, lengthen through your spine. Sit back, that, sit that hip back on your heel. That's a really nice stretch for the inner thighs. Same thing, other side. Ooh, yes. Breathe into it. bent in towards the inner thigh, extend the other leg out, hinge forward. Oh, that's nice. Feeling the stretch in your hamstrings, your glutes, and your lower back here. Same thing, other side, right into it. Ooh, nice. So as you feel your hips and your lower back release, I want you to push your chest forward even more while keeping a nice long neck. Pull those shoulder blades back, nice neutral spine, long spine, long neck. Fold forward further over that knee. Okay, go ahead, and we're gonna stand up. I want you to go to the wall, okay? Take one foot, heel down, toes up, up against the wall. I'm just going up against my weights here. Then push yourself into the wall. Feel that nice lengthening through the calf there. Lean into the wall even more or get that heel closer up against the wall. I think I like it up against the wall better. I'm gonna move that out of the way, yeah. That's better. 
switch sides. Same thing, other side. The only bad thing about this is you're gonna have to come back with your magic eraser and clean off the little scuff mark on your wall. <laughs> That's okay, it's worth it to have nice stretched out calves though. <laughs> I promise it is worth it. Ooh. Shake it out. Give me some shoulder shrugs. Big inhale, take the arms over to one side, stretch through your hips. Ooh, and the other side, stretch from your armpit all the way down to your hips. Ooh, one more, nice big inhale. And exhale. And now give me those virtual high fives. Fantastic work, everybody. This was a challenging one. I know you're up to it. I'm so glad you were here with me. And I want you to be excited to meet me right back here on Monday. Until we meet again, I want you to always remember, no excuses, no regret, just sweat. Mwah!